Okay, we're well, live. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay. I'm gonna put a light on, see if you guys can see me a little better. There you go. Hey. Oh, it took me so long. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, sorry. I thought that my live stream was... Um, okay, a load of things have happened in the last 24 hours. Let me just explain to them to you guys. Um, okay, so I hit 100,000 on my channel. Then I, um, I got verified on Instagram. Uh, and then, so everything's just been an absolute rush. Like loads of things have been happening. And I'm just working out some gigs. I'm going to London tomorrow for some stuff. And then like, oh, guys, but nice to have you all here. What is going on, everybody? Uh, well done, 100K. Dude, we did it. 100K, 100K. 100,000 YouTube subscribers. Amazing. Oh, I've got to give a big shout out. So there's a guy, he's a friend of mine, um, who runs a channel called uh, Aspie with attitude uh, and he's from Australia and he sent me this letter um, and he also sent me these cool little catch cards like um, like subscribe to the Aspie World by uh, October to get 100,000 and there's one for December in case you think of that one and then there's one for 31st of, October, uh, of August which we did get and this one's cool and um, he also sent me this fidget spinner the guy is pretty awesome he's actually got an amazing video where he like spins like fidget spinners on his nose and stuff so check him out Aspie with attitude um, he's a cool guy, YouTube channel. Yeah, what a guy. And he sent me this package all the way from Australia. Absolute legend of a guy. Thank you so much, man. I love it. Love the haircut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, my. <laughs> yes, I have done my hair a little bit differently. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Um, everybody here is an absolute legend. Thank you so much. Everybody, you guys are ruling right now. Um, yeah, so my hair's changing a little bit. A little bit of an image change up, you know, add more edginess to my uh, existing edginess. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do a video talking about like dyslexia and autism because like, you know, I have dyslexia and I have autism. So it's like, or I'm autistic and I'm dyslexic, however you want to like word it, um, you know, but uh, the the idea was that I wanted to talk about why why they're like comorbid, why do they, you know, co-occur together. Um, sorry guys, if I, if I seem a little shaken up, it's because uh, my, my kid had his booster shots today, it's like one year booster shots, and um, it's just like, it's the worst, I can't deal with it, so I literally just got back from doing that, and I'm in the moment writing a blog, and I'm like, I'm working for a company, who we write blogs, and I'm like delayed, and I've had a deadline, and it's just ridiculous, so I'm going to have to send a message in it, because like, my, my boss is going to like kick my butt, anyway, so loads of things going on, um, my hair is going to be um, like blue-grey a little bit at the front, like in the fringe part, nothing crazy, so... Use code Aspie World. Uh, what? Another comments are coming up. What are you talking about? I see all the comments. Dyslexia, dyspraxia, Aspie. Hey. You're a great guy. Thank you so much. Uh, what code? What are we talking about here? I don't know. Where are we? I have no idea what's going on, guys. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, loads of things going on. Um, so let's. I'm so confused, but let's get back to autism dyslexia right now because that's kind of like what I wanted to do this uh, this whole thing about. I'm just gonna get another light because I feel like this light is terrible. So I'm gonna get another light in here so we can actually light up the studio properly um, because I have big studio lights that uh, that I use to prioritize lighting. Oh, cool. Here we go. Ah, oh, yes, this is good. This makes me look like a bit of a rock star, baby. Okay, cool. This is good lighting. Okay, so um, I heard about you from Fathering Autism page. Oh, thank you so much. Congrats on 100,000. Thank you. Mm. Guys, we're, we're, thank you so much. Every, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Everyone's loving this like 100,000 thing. Um, hey, Dan, just got to work break, so I'll get to catch this. Okay, cool. Um, so why why does autism co-occur um, with dyslexia, right? It'd be cool to see a video about all types of dyslexia. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to do more dyslexia videos. This is kind of like my intro to it, you know, doing a live video talking about it. Love you, love you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all your compliments. You guys are amazing. I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart, and I, I truly mean that. Um, so autism it impacts people's communication, right? So that is like how they communicate um, with the world. Um, and dyslexia is a written form of... Sorry. Dyslexia impacts the written form of communication and the reading part of communication and some balance uh, issues and stuff like that and some of the cognitive um, bits and pieces, which is a little bit like neurological as well. Um, so it's pretty obvious that these things are going to co-occur, right? So if you have a communication issue, then you're definitely, you know, in the, in the running to have like some other kind of communication issues. So I don't see it as something that is... Um, that is rare. I think it's something that's quite common, and um, I've obviously have dyslexia and I've struggled with it all my life. Um, but sorry, what time is it where you are? What's your name? Um, what? So my name is Dan, and it's three forty-four p.m. on the afternoon. So yeah, it's kind of like a 
it's it's a it's an interesting one. I think that's like most people with an autism spectrum condition will experience dyslexia of some kind. I believe, I believe. Um, but it also like it, it can sometimes comorbidly with dyspraxia, which is similar, but it's like balance and things like that. Are, you, are there different types of dyslexia then? There are yes, yeah, so, so it's kind of like not types of dyslexia, but like levels of dyslexia. I think so. You can be like moderate to severe dyslexic. Um, I'm like in the middle, so I can like. I can read, obviously, but I I, I need um, like tools and stuff. Like my <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed. Like my spelling and grammar is sometimes is atrocious, and it's and, uh, and it's not really just reading the words. Like reading words is difficult because some of the words are quite hard. I can normally read more complex words than than not complex words. I have issues with homophones, you know, like there, there, and there, and where, where, and where. Um, but one of the things I have an issue with is the flow of the conversation. Like how like they, like reading the the reading the context of the text and then actually digesting that and knowing what on earth I've just read, like, that's very difficult for me. Um, I maybe read, like, the same thing about a hundred times before I even know what, what, it, what it's saying. Oh, guys, also, uh, I got verified on Instagram, which is just crazy. It's like, I can't believe I actually got verified on Instagram. So if you want to go follow me on Instagram and join in the verification fun, um, here is the Aspie world. Look at that. Look at that blue tick. Amazing. Um, yeah, it was, it's, 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 it's a rocking time on Instagram right now. I'm doing like trying to do daily videos on Instagram as well. Um, and yeah, we're doing a bunch of stuff on Instagram. So that would be uh, awesome if you would um, check that out. Uh, where are we? Um, I'm just going to put that back there. Uh, also, guys, this is my GoPro Hero 7. And it's the white one, not the black one. And I kind of messed up a bit because this one's a bit pants. If anyone knows anything about GoPros, this one's a bit shit. So, yeah, I, I do apologise that. Um, some vlogs are going to have this. I, I'm actually... Okay, that's another thing I'm going to talk about. We'll talk about it in a minute. I'm getting too ahead of myself. Uh, we're in front of a celeb now, guys. <laughs> that's interesting because I have struggled with reading and writing but never thought they were big enough to be dyslexia. It's a possibility. Maybe, like... Uh, yeah, I would say that. Check out... Check out dyslexia tests and stuff online. I'm going to do videos on it. I'll just check back in here. So in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do more videos on dyslexia and things like that. I'll do a whole series on dyslexia. I'm just dyslexic too, and I have visual stress with it. Yes, do you have visual stress? Yes, absolutely, 100%. Uh, uh, actually, you know, like uh, it, there's all kinds of like stuff um, that it comes with dyslexia. It's 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 quite an, it's an interesting. One. I'll just say that it's interesting. Uh, it does frustrate me, but <sighs> yeah, I've awesome. Yay! Congrats. Thanks. <laughs> The celebrity thing. I don't say I'm a celebrity. I think like just just you got a verified Instagram. Um, my shift manager says hi. Hey, shift manager. Just because um, I have a verified Instagram page, it just means that like I am who I am. So when people like find me on YouTube and they're searching for me to see if I've got Instagram, then they know that like that page is legit. Um, actually, I'm having my Facebook page verified as well. So uh, yeah, uh, lit bro, you need to stop uh, typing messages in there. You're gonna get put in timeout. Clean, we know. Oh, sorry, Dan. I didn't mean to offend. Oh no, no, not at all. You no, you don't offend me. Don't worry. That's it's fine. Um. Okay, so uh, dyslexia and autism. I feel like, you know, they. I I sometimes don't know which one is like like autism related. So I don't know which one's the autism communication part and which one is the dyslexia. that's kicking me in the 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 ghoulies. But like, regardless, they kind of both kick me. <laughs> Kick me a bit, but it's okay. I feel like they are manageable if you have things like so. When the government send me, um, uh, like letters or correspondence, if you will, they'll send it on like an audio disc so I can like listen to it. Because when they send me like official, like, uh, like uh, formal wording, it's super difficult. So when I did my degree to, to actually read like the books and stuff, I get all of the uh, my friend Tom actually ripped all of the books from Kindle onto um, PDF. And then we, I highlight them and I get my computer to talk back to me. Similar to how I listen to some of the comments here that are a bit tricky. Um, I kind of look up the words and then I get it to read it back to me. So that's that's why, yeah, uh, sometimes I, I might take a while to read the comments or I'll get it. So, man, you can actually get that. Yeah, you can. Um, so the UK government, if you request, uh, so like the DW, the Department of Work and Pensions and stuff like that, they'll send you uh, on a disc. Brooke, we've got 100,000, you're on your way to a million. Definitely. Look, we were on our way to, we were on our way to a million when we had one subscriber on this channel, right? And it's crazy. Like, everyone seems to forget that. Like, you know, you start with one subscriber. I started with one subscriber. One subscriber. One subscriber on my channel, amazing. I absolutely loved it. 
one subscriber, and then we were up to like 100,000 subscribers, or well, 100,000 and 100 right now, or whatever it is, and that's just quality, like, I love it. Uh, okay, no need to be mean. Uh, guys, please, just chill. I think I might have dyscalculia. It's like dyslexia, but it's characterized with different occurring mathematics, and I might also be dyslexic, but not Yeah, so Kaylee, um, so uh, dyscalculia um, is like number or numerical dyslexia. That's what a lot of people call it that. Um, I can't seem to send a message. Uh, you Okay, it works out. <laughs> Sorry, guys, just, the chat is quite busy, so maybe it's just kind of like, um, yeah. Okay, cool. Do you use assistant software like Dragon? Yes, I've used Dragon Dictation, but the problem with Dragon Dictation is that it's a bit pants, like it doesn't really work that well. Hey, Secret Vlog team, have you guys seen the latest episode of the Secret Vlog? That was kind of fun. Um, I was updating you on a bunch of stuff, so let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you've seen the Secret Vlog. And if you don't know what the Secret Vlog is, you can pay four ninety nine a month and get access to my Secret Vlog, which is uploaded weekly. Uh, and you can get it on this link here. Boom, look at that. Um, so yeah, my son has been showing intense signs of dyslexia, like reading and writing his words and letters backwards. And his teacher says it's too young to diagnose yet. Um, you can diagnose dyslexia around four to five years old, typically um, when they start, like, you know, the motor skills, reading and writing and stuff like that. So definitely keep on top of that, Ash. Secret Lock Rocks, but yeah, you guys have seen it. Um, uh, give me a second, guys. My uh, girlfriend is texting me from upstairs because we're that cool. This house runs on tech, I tell you. Um, uh, give me one second, I've got to read this message. Okay, where are we now? It's almost seven. Maybe we'll get tested in school yet. Yeah, definitely. I definitely do. Hey, Chloe, Chloe Eve, hey, Dan. I don't have dyslexia, I can read and spell relatively easy, but it's super f fascinating. Congrats on 100,000 too, thank you so much, it's amazing. Um, I still do this now. Uh, why is he too young? Uh, where are we guys? Um, do you have any tips for note taking? Uh, one struggle. Yeah, I do have a tip for note taking actually. So you can, so if you have an iPhone, you can just press the microphone button on your keyboard and anything that it hears, it will just dictate that and put it down into text. So what I used to do is I'd get a, you can get like these little microphones, I think like, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the make now, like uh, iRig I think is the name. So you get like an iRig microphone that you plug into your iPhone and then you put that microphone closer to the, to the, the you know, to somebody who's talking or if it's you that's talking and then you just, just press the talk button and it will record all of that. And the iPhone has a built in, it's amazing. The iPhone is so powerful, it's ridiculous. Like, I absolutely love iPhone, amazing. Your videos are really helpful, thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Ines. Excuse me. Aspie raising Aspie here. Our, sen our sensory needs are dramatically opposed to get up. Dude, I've got a video coming out this Thursday all about sensory uh, hacks. I did like a video on sensory hacks because I realized that I didn't, I did a video on sensory processing disorder, but I didn't really do a video on hacks. Coming up. Yeah. Yeah, sensory hacks can be amazing. It's so freaking stoked, guys. You, like, you have no idea. I just like... So good, so good. All right. Uh, I wish I had it when I went to uni. Those were messy. Oh yeah, definitely. I use it all the time. No way. I did not know that either. I'm learning so much from your channel, man. Mark, don't worry. Actually, guys, if anyone's watching this on the replay, can everyone give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see a dedicated video about how you can use iPads and iPhones to help with like autism, dyslexia, all those kind of things. Like, uh, you guys don't, don't even know. When I go, because I always buy my phones outright and I save up like a beast to buy my phones outright. And then, and I always like worry when I'm spending so much money on a phone. Like my latest iPhone cost something stupid, like 1,300 pounds. But why did I buy such an expensive phone with such big capacity? And like Nomi always says, I use the phone to its full capacity. It's an accessibility tool for me. So it's like, you know, would somebody scoff at paying, you know, £2,000 on a wheelchair if they needed it? No. Do I scoff at paying £1,300 for a phone because I need it? No. It, you ha it, if, it, if it enriches your life, if it helps you overcome something, definitely worth investing in. To me, it's a tool. It's a tool that helps me. It's kind of like a crutch. Like, I didn't realize how... Um, how much the iPhone and the iPad, like iPads changed my life. Like it just this, this thing, this right here changed my life. I can't even begin like just amazing. But the, the, the power of the iPad and the iPhone is just ridiculous. Connor Ward, what's going on? Um, Connor, um, 
message me because I got the okay for the thing that I'm doing in September, so I need some messages. Connor's coming on board to do some, uh, he's going to help me do some editing and stuff, but more about that another time. Um, if Asperger's is, uh, is Asperger's an advantage or disadvantage? Well, Asperger's, obviously now known as uh, autism spectrum disorder, like all the other parts of it, it is both. It has it has advantages and disadvantages, like anything else. It's kind of like being alive, you know. What's it like being a human? Do you have advantages and disadvantages? Well, yeah, of course you do. You know, sometimes life is cool and it gives you a good hand, and sometimes it kicks you in the, the knackers. But I'd say that autism comes with a specific set of things where it will drastically um, uh, be disproportionate in certain areas, like okay communication and making friends and keeping friends and understanding language and understanding uh communicative language i mean uh, and then like eye contact and sensory processing issues and all the other lovely things that come into meltdowns but then on the other hand i love maths and science and music and i can i taught myself to play instruments and i you know i've got a degree in chemistry and i'm able to make videos and create content and and all those things are amazing i don't think i could have done any of those things without it um he custom had customers at the vape shop I missed like 15 minutes whoops sorry <laughs> that's okay Shell you do you Shell did you see the secret vlog by the way um oh no worries uh, Nathan plenty of friends in here yeah I said Connor Woo! Connor's awesome Connor's a good guy uh yeah, Connor also oh actually me and Connor have got some videos coming out um soonish uh, me and Connor did a couple of videos in his hotel room when we were at somewhere in the city in London. It was pretty amazing. Uh, so yeah, we actually made two videos. We, so me and Connor were actually waiting for pizza. We'd ordered Papa John's pizza, and we were, and they do a vegan pizza as well, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, we were waiting for pizza, uh, and then the space took us to to order the pizza. We recorded two videos, which was amazing. And then um, we also did a video for my channel the day. Uh, oh no, after eating the pizza, I think. I have, a, I have a nice RCA tablet. Um, it's as good as an iPad, any iPad or any other tablet from my brand. What? Uh, Dan is my hero. Oh, you guys are my heroes. Honest to God, like you, you have no idea. Like, what, like the reason I have a hundred thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel is because you guys subscribe to me. You guys made this channel what it is, man. I just sit here facilitating it, man. I just give you content, and then you guys build the community with me, which is amazing. I love every single second of it. Okay, look, bro, take it easy. Down as a hero. No, no, you guys are the heroes. My my video, then we all did pizza, then we did your video, then we ate it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what we did. Uh, it was pretty good, actually. I think I'm in Connor's vlog where we talk about that. So if you haven't seen the vlog by Connor, go check out Connor's channel. Um, we do like a cool vlog. Anyway, guys, I'm really interested in this fidget spinner I got from Australia from Ask Me With Attitude. Um, big shout out to that guy, by the way. I can't believe he sent me something from Australia. The guy's an absolute legend. Whoa, this one's better than my one. Wait, what? Okay, so this is my fidget spinner. So I have this fidget spinner, which is um, probably my favorite one, which is a social circle one. Which is a, a, it's a metal one. It's really, really heavy, and everything on it's metal. There's no plastic on it at all. This one, however, is a, 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 like more of a. Um, uh, oh yeah, no. So Burger King have done the Impossible Burger, which is uh, Impossible Meat, which is different to Beyond. Uh, impossible Meat's a bit more like GMO, so be careful with that. Don't have too much of that. It's not as healthy as Beyond. So um, this one's metal, and I always thought this one would be the beast, and it's been the, the best one so far. But this one, being plastic, it's super light, and I actually can get way more spinning out of it. Oh, this one's amazing. Okay, I'm going to be playing with this, obviously, if I don't just stop. Oh, man. Don't you just, like, set spin, spinners down and just watch them spin? Oh, my God. It looks cool on the camera, doesn't it? <laughs> Check us out. <laughs> How cool is that? Like, it looks like it's in slow motion, man. I love it. Um, Dan, oh my goodness, I've lost everything. I found you right after my diagnosis, and you've helped me save my life. To be honest, I found reason not to give up on you. Shell, my goodness, like. You ever have thoughts like that again? You reach out to me on the email straight away, okay? You have no idea how amazing you actually are. Like, I you, honestly, look how important you are to me is is unprecedented. You're part of the VIP club. You see my, you get access to my my secret vlog. You're part of the Asperger fam right now. You're on this stream, man. That's 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 huge. That's a massive part to my. So please, you're very very like needed. Um, 
Dan has always been my hero, my biggest inspiration. Thank you so much, Krista. Krista, you inspired me. You did this whole thing where you like you, you wrote like a message on the back of your shirt that I'd, I'd put out, and which is amazing. I like it's actually my heart stuff like that. I love it. Um, it's really nice. Um, Rel, you got the Dave. What? Who the hell's Dave? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where are we? Dan, how old are you? I'm 33 years old. Oh, look at that. I'm well old, don't I? Um, I want an oddly satisfying video of fidget spinners. So maybe I'll do a fidget spinner video. I did a video on the history of fidget spinners, but I never did like a fidget spinner video. Why don't we do a fidget, fidget spinner video? I could, do, I could shoot at like 120 frames a second and slow it down and we get like some like super slow-mo like B-roll. It'd be amazing. Let's see if, we can, see if we can get both these spin at the same time. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, man. I just... I don't know if you guys also get it, but like I get like I just love fidget spinners and like just fidget gadgets in, in general. These things are just amazing. I love it. Okay, uh, I think Robin Williams was an Aspie potentially, um, but people don't like me comparing uh, notes about uh, famous people, so I'm maybe not going to do those videos again. Um, so satisfying it is. My internet keeps dropping out. Dang it! Um, we help him as much as he helps us. We help each other exactly, and that is called community. I love it. We all help each other. Was Albert Einstein autistic? Apparently so. Apparently so. He didn't have a diagnosis because it wasn't diagnosable then, but yes, Mohammed. Your new fidget spinner was hypnotizing me. I know. I can't seem to put it down. It's like, it's cool as hell. Um, so, guys, if you guys know of a guy called Rain Dove, Dove? Rain Dove? Rain, sorry, Rain Dove. Rain Dove. He's a model, so his Instagram is Rain Dove Model. I'm going to be doing like an Instagram stories takeover on his page soon so go check him out and make sure you, you, you're following him so you get to see my Instagram takeover Melissa Melissa I've been watching your videos and also Melissa you uploaded a video of like taking K2 supplement vitamin K2 uh, vitamin K2 should be taken with vitamin D3 so vitamin K2 and D3 together just so you know um, you gave me hope for my nephew who is diagnosed asp um, but now is having mental issues and borderline schizophrenia. Okay, so sometimes schizophrenia is is misdiagnosed. So the misdiagnosed with schizophrenia one is actually autism, um, and it's just to kind of cope with that. Autism does come with mental health issues, obviously anxiety, depression, stress, all of those things. So definitely check that out. Um, and maybe it's worth reinvesting, re, re reinvestigating those areas because of that. Also, something to know is that um. Like autism, you know, the, the mental health part of it is, is something that to, to keep on top of. And it can be managed, 100%, just something to check out. Libby Kyle, you sound... Ah, oh, shoot. Libby, you sound more like you're from Newcastle than Wales. <laughs> and that's really weird to say that, because, like, I sound... Um, we iPad? Newcastle? Um, that's canny, that, isn't it? I don't know how to do a Newcastle accent. We I, man. Like, Newcastle sounds well different to what I'm... So my accent is kind of like a mixture between like British and American because obviously people on the spectrum sound a bit American for some reason. I don't know. Yes, I will take it. Thanks to vitamin D, yeah. I take vitamin D. Uh, hi, Dan. I took the test you linked. Uh, so far, scored extremely high on both. Especially taking it four times. So I showed results... Should I get like... I would say definitely get evaluated, uh, Mariana. Um, one hundred percent. That's the idea of that video. Just keep stimming. Um, also, the most good for you may be actually linked, especially according to a documentary I watched. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. I'd love to see that. Thank you for thank you for the Dan. That thank you for the Dan. That means so much to me. Well, you're more than welcome. We don't all speak like that. <laughs> Wait, I pet. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. I love the Newcastle accent. It's so nice. I, I've actually got a really good friend of mine, uh, Joe, who lives in Newcastle. I haven't seen him for like 12 years. Um, and he's just such a nice guy. Joseph Zara, his name is. And uh, he uh, he's in Newcastle, uh, Washington, really, which is right close to Newcastle. And um, yeah, he's a cool guy. He used to look like Pete Wentz. And we played music together. We actually toured America together playing music. And he's one of my honestly dearest friends. I love the guy. So big shout out to my friend, Joseph Zara. Absolute amazing guy. Uh, join the discussion. When can you expect an adult assessment for? When can you expect from an? What can you expect from an adult assessment of ASD? Rosin, I actually created a video series of three videos about that exact topic. So basically, everything what you want to do before, what to do during, what to do after. I'll send that to you right now so you can see it. Um, uh, yeah, the, the, it's a playlist of videos. I'll send it to you right now. Uh, where are we? So. Uh, how to get an awesome diagnosis, here we go, 
<laughs> awesome diagnosis rhymes with hypnosis. What up, yo? I could be a rapper, son. Okay, maybe not. That was kind of cool, though. Look at me. Throwing up some freaking moves. Um, that was awesome. Oh, thank you. You guys are just too nice. Um, where are we? Why am, why am I... Oh, my dyslexia cutting in. I meant to type... Show. I want to meet... Uh, I'm... I want to meet him in person, but I live in Massachusetts. Who who do you want to meet in person, Shell? Um, actually, I was in Massachusetts uh, not so long ago, a couple of months ago. I was in uh, I was in Boston. I was doing a big thing with MIT. I was there for like a week and a bit. It was cool as heck. I was going to do a meet and greet. I was going to do a meet up, and, and people wanted to come meet me, but I didn't have any time because this thing I was doing was just crazy intense. Uh, well, MIT obviously. Can autism be mistaken for anything? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I would love to meet him as well. I'm in Canada. I love Canada. I want to go to Canada. Uh, we have the same queen. Um, oh, guys, give me just a sec. I gotta take. I gotta take something. Hey, guys, tell me a second. Hello. 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 Guys, I'm back, I'm back. Nobody leave, nobody leave, nobody leave, nobody leave. Oh my god, okay, that was so weird. I'm so sorry. I had a very, very important phone call to say. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, Dan is bowing. I don't think he'll be too long. Sorry, guys. It must have been an important call. It was a very important call. And then Randy was just like throwing shapes. Like, come on, Randy, give me a break. Give the audience something to live. Um, um, guys, I missed so much. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> is that okay? I'm okay. Uh, Amanda, Dan is cute. Harold and Kuma, how's it going? Uh, uh, where the heck are we? Oh, guys, so um, as you guys know, I am friends with Shal Davis from Shal Davis's Tattoos, um, and I am flying to Cardiff on Thursday afternoon to do. Um, uh, oh, Thursday, Thursday morning, I'm spending all day in Cardiff uh, with Shal, and we're going to be doing some 
uh, tattooing. I'm going to do tattoos and stuff like that. So I'm going to make a video all about tattoos, autism, what it feels like, what it's like, why people with autism kind of like uh, can relate to having tattoos and why they can stand having tattoos, even with sensory issues, can be lovely. Greetings from Baja, Baja, California. Is that how you say it? Baja? Baja, California. And congratulations for your 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, Draco. That's awesome. Should no one say anything that we said about him whilst he was gone. Right, Connor, that attitude ain't gonna fly. All right. Charles is so cool. Charles is amazing. She really is one of my closest friends right now. Like, I speak to Charles most days. Um, you know, she's really good friends with Nomi. Uh, she comes over and plays with our kid. Like, I see her all the time. So, Baja. Dan, you and I need to get that tat next time we... Uh... Yeah, we do, actually. When did you get your lip ring pierced? I got it pierced when I was 18 years old. Um, that would be awesome. Um, I have ADHD. I'm so hype. Dude, I'm hyped all the time. Like, I can barely sit still. Uh, Randy, stop pulling rubbish out of the bin. Honestly, like this dog. Just, Randy, what are you doing? Why? Why, why pull rubbish out of the bin? I just... I, t I spent hours tidying this office to make it nice for us because Andy hangs out with me during the day all day. Yeah, Randy? Good boy. Okay, where are we? I don't know. I just got a new school bag and I, I have my English results in two days. Oh, good luck for that. Best of luck. Have you heard about these eye tests for autism that get bacteria transfer to help you with stomach issues? What? Have you heard about the eye test for autism and the gut bacteria transfer after the stomach issues? Um, I've seen the gut bacteria transfer. Basically, if you've got like IBS, if you take like bacteria from someone else's poo and put it into your poo, it can help or something like that. I don't know. Just a lot of poo, isn't it? Really it's weird, isn't it? You owe us a video on Cymru. I do, Cymru and Um So, uh, a video on Cymru. Cymru is actually Wales in Welsh. Um, so, doing Dysgu Siana Cymru a'i gwaith, ac mae'n cael ei fyn Siana Cymru a'i gwaith yn, and doing Lycio a'i Dysgu Cymru a'i ac create your um, video i Siana Cymru a'i <laughs> e-pawb or a YouTube. Yeah, some Welsh for you there. Did it hurt when you got your lip pierced? No, actually, it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt at all. It was bizarre. I was told the glasses could help me because I have dyslexia. I don't know as much as it help so scared off the D DWP. Do you know what? I actually have dyslexia reading glasses. Do I actually have them here? Um, I have dyslexia reading glasses somewhere, apparently so. Um, but they're crap. Um, uh, they're just... They're just uh, it didn't work. Oh, oh, guys, we're getting a call coming in again. So I'll probably just one second. Hello? Hello? Hi, guys. Yeah, mate, how's it going? Yeah, mate, all right. I just got a call in from my
that's why. Okay, guys, don't hate me, 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 don't hate me. I'll actually hit, whoa, shit. How are there still 62 people here? I'm so sorry. Okay, right. Um, parties, because you can keep conversations going. He's hilarious when you get him, when you get him going. Wait, 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 hold on. Who's talking about me where? We did go out to a party in VidCon. We went to a few parties in VidCon, and um, somebody, he's back. You never hate. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. You will find out very soon what all these bizarre phone calls are all about. It's very exciting, but um, I can't tell you right now. Anyway, um, he kept him entertained. Thanks, Connor. Look at that. Um, anyway, guys, I'm actually going to... Uh, we'll, we'll keep going for a few minutes and then we'll, we'll wrap it up in a bit. But oh, Okay, where were we? I missed so many co comments and stuff like that. Dan has the power. The power Dan has to give you... I, what, what is going on? I'm old school, catching up with the new school because I saw a video, it was awesome. How, come, how do I become a moderator? Anyway, so Shell, um, uh, there's, a, there's, an, there's a, an exclusive click of people who are like my trusted sources that moderate my YouTube stuff. Maybe in, in a bit, we'll, once I know you a little better, maybe I can get you to mod um, some stuff on YouTube. But for now, it's just my two or three officers that I've got hanging out. It's been pretty awesome. Invis, Dan, in for the rescue of the world. Then he swooped back into rescue us. Just asking generally, that'll be awesome. Isn't it? Please keep the chat English. I sometimes have a problem doing that since I spoke well to you guys. Dan, were you sleeping? No, Mohammed, I was not sleeping. Um, I was. Um, what was I doing? I was on the phone with somebody. Uh, same people phoned me a minute ago, actually. But too many phone calls. Uh, what? I don't know, what, what are we even doing here? Um, uh, go take a breather. No, it's all good, guys. It's all good. We were talking about dyslexia and autism, weren't we? And how, like, fantastically married the couple were. Um, but, guys, I'm thinking about doing something. Like, I'm thinking about raising money for charity by, done, by doing, like, an auction of all the cool stuff I've had. Like, I've got passes from VidCon, passes from somewhere in the city. I've got, like, free, like, hats and, like banners and bags and stuff that I've had given to me as gifts when I go to events. And I'm thinking maybe rather than just like get rid of them or never use them and have them sitting around lying around the house, maybe we could do like an auction and raise money for like a charity like National Assistance Society or something even, you know, we could choose a charity. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. It would be a cool thing to do because I've got loads of like passes, just, you know, access hilarious passes and wristbands and things like that from like doing events that you guys might kind of think are cool. So, um, okay, Connor, I'll ring you very shortly when I finish this. So, um, well, my friend Dancing Hermione. Do you guys know Kelsey? Do you ever see the Dancing Hermione thing uh, with a girl called Kelsey? She's really cool. She's actually just messaging me now. She's like, yeah, she's really cool. Um, she's a good friend of mine, so that's kind of cool. Uh, maybe he sleep. He's a superhero. That sounds amazing. Bye, Connor. Bye. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. That's a sick. Uh, thank you. My dyslexia keeps getting worse, uh, and now getting worse and worse. And the reason reading, do you know what I can do? Yeah. So. Practice makes progress. One thing I've learned about dyslexia is that you can help it by trying to learn more about how words are formed and things like that. Um, and then uh, the, yeah, Dan has more social interaction than I ever will. It, it, it comes at a price, believe me. And then the other thing is to use different types of software and apps to help you. There's like um, Dyslexia font as well that you can install in computers. It turns all the font to a dyslexia, dyslexia friendly font, which is amazing. Uh, I've used it for quite a while and they gave me a free trial run and it was just just outrageous. So, yeah, that was really, really good. Dan is Hulk. I don't know, man. I, I don't feel hulky. I guess I just... My first stream, I'd be spacing out and shitting on. Dan does a phenomenal job. Thanks, man. This is like my, I don't know, 30th, 40th live stream. So, I'm kind of like, I'm used to it. Don't you guys worry. I mean, it might look impressive, but how does it feel to have 100,000 subscribers? It feels crazy, actually. It's like... Um, it's it's kind of like it's a bit surreal. I I mean we we've watched it go up like incrementing like per subscriber quite sometimes as well. So it was quite mad. So um I've I've tried color lenses. They helped a little bit, but I felt like they kind of it, the, the idea of it wore off and my brain realized that it, what, what I was doing and it just stopped working. You've done like fifty live streams actually. Oh thanks. We're also proud of you, Dan. Yeah. So actually, Ash has the data on this because we've just been doing. We did an exercise where we listed all my the names of all my live streams because I'm going to be doing them on you now as well for the new you now audience uh, starting very soon. Um, have a wonderful day, fellow Aspies. Thank you, and you too. You look it up, Ash. 
Um, it could be mistaken being self-diagnosed, but is it worth? It's worth learning. Yeah, definitely. Um, there's an Ask Me World Discord. There is an Ask Me World Discord. Link is in the description, or someone will post it into the chat right now. I'm guessing one of my mods will do that. Uh, guys, I'm just checking Twitter. Guys, if you want me to follow you on Twitter, oh, con concerned citizen, one dollar ninety-nine. Uh, thank you so much for the eight message. What does eight mean? What have I done? What have I missed? Why does it say eight? <laughs> What's going on? You should do something special for your hundred live stream. I should. I'm actually going to do something. I'm, I'm going to do a live something or other for my uh, hundred thousand subscribers uh, milestone, but. Oh, excuse me, guys. Oh, I get this. Okay, so, guys, if you want to follow me on Twitter, and I'll follow you right back, it's at the Aspie World. So go check me out on Twitter, at the Aspie World. Do it right now, and I'll follow you right back. Shell Ford, get 199. Thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my God, guys, it's amazing. Like, you have no idea how much that, like, means to me that you guys donate money via super chat. Like, it, it helps me out. You have no idea how much it helps me out. Even even that 199 goes a massive way. Massive way. Uh Um, I, like you have no idea. I mean, you know, it, it goes such a long way. This channel, thank you so much. I follow you on Instagram a little while ago. Oh, cool! Sorry, I can I can send more. I live in Massachusetts, also called to Texas. You see, <laughs> Massachusetts was crazy. I I lost somebody stole my um my autism medication from my bag when I was in my hotel in Massachusetts. I I was staying in Boston in Cambridge in the Marriott Hotel, and um. Somebody stole my medication. I had to go to the hospital there to get them sorted. Now, because it was pre-existing, my insurance didn't cover it, so I had to pay out of cash. And it cost me $900 to see a doctor to get an $11 prescription. True story. So thank you, Massachusetts, for that ridiculously extortionate amount of money I paid to see a doctor. I live in Bradford. Cool. Followed. Cool. Where are you? Let's follow you back. Yay. Followed. It's amazing. Thank you. Kareen Caston... Cool. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Kareen. Go fund me. What are you doing? What are you doing for GoFundMe on? GoFundMe page for... Um, oh, I can't read it. It's in a different language. Um, sorry, I would I would support. I don't know. I don't know what it says. <laughs> I'm getting support at school this year. Uh, were you in mainstream classes in education? I was. But um, I would donate money, but I only have 74p in my account. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry about donating money. Good as me. Don't worry about anything like that. Um, uh, I was in mainstream school, but I also had like a one-to-one -one when I was in mainstream school. So um, it kind of helped a little bit, uh, but it was really difficult. Mainstream school was difficult when you didn't have the support in the first place. Do you just need a quiet place? Yes, absolutely. 100%. Must have messed up. That's okay. Love your videos. Thank you for doing them. Thank you, Michael. That's awesome. I'm in Leeds, Mohammed. We're so close. No way. Leeds. I don't think I've been to Leeds before. I mean, I've been to Leeds, supposedly. <laughs> Did they go to the zoo? Supposedly. Uh, give me a second, guys. I have to just email somebody back. Uh, I've got um, we built this city of sausage rolls stuck in my head because my friend released a song at Christmas time about sausage rolls and it was like we got some Christmas number one with it. Consent Citizen nine dollars ninety nine. Thank you so much. I, I can't even. That's amazing. Thank you so much for donating that money to me. Look, absolute legend in here. Hero, hero status. You are amazing. Thank you so much. I. I'm so blessed to have you guys as my fans. Honestly. Everyone's just saying where they're from. <laughs> they are. Um, I'm from Wales, North Wales. Anglesey, to be precise. Uh, they've been between Leeds and Bradford. I've been to Bradford, actually. The GoFundMe is for my mum. She's fighting cancer. We went to Mexico for treatment. There were no options in Canada. Yes, absolutely. On the border of San Diego, there is a clinic that does, uh, like, um, uh, uh, I think it's something like proton uh, exchange uh, treatment. 
Um, Karin, can you email me? I have something. I have something to talk to you about. Uh, email me. So it's the Aspie World at gmail.com email me I have some information uh, that might be able to help you with um, cancer treatment and stuff like that um, and I'd love to donate to the, the GoFundMe let me figure out if I can do that now uh, guys if you want to help um, uh, the GoFundMe I'll, I'll share it on my my Twitter right now so you guys can see it uh, so you guys can see it if you want to go and help the GoFundMe page um, you, do, you you should do an ad, advice advice live stream. I'm from Portugal. Hey Portugal, how's it going? You guys have legalized all drugs in Portugal. Okay, donate. I'm gonna try and donate to this thing. Uh, that's fine. Uh, give me a second. Enter your donation. Okay, guys, sorry, I'm just, I want to get this done. Okay, I'll do that in a minute. Uh, where are we? What's your opinion on first-person shoot games? Uh, yeah, they're cool, I guess. Uh, I don't really play games that much anymore, so I wish I did. Uh, I don't actually have any games I play that much. Uh, it was the dollar sign that was the problem. Got it. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Um, what, Will? Um, I... You can follow me on Instagram. Uh, maybe uh, my Instagram is quite busy at the moment. I follow too many people, and I get like confused. Do people undiagnosed with SPD recognize without knowing they have a condition that the sensory things causing them meltdown? Um, I don't know. It's a good question, actually. I guess I guess so. Maybe. I mean, it's a, it's a strong possibility. I mean, SPD is a huge thing. But um, okay, guys, I have to go now. I have so many things to do. I'm actually getting my head just styled today as well. Some more. Also, this is like part one. I got it cut like this, but then I'm styled in. So I will see you guys in the next video. If you are new around here and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Helps me out loads. Share it if you want to share it. If not, then that's fine too. Sorry for the big gaps in between my sick phone calls. You guys will find out what it's all about very, very soon. I love you guys. Each and every one of you have been amazing. Thank you so much. Peace and love. Always be you and never ever let anybody hate on you. All right, guys, take it easy.